Moving on now, well, the attacks on Indians in the United States continues. This time around, it is a 39-year-old Sikh man, Deep Rai. Well, he's been shot and injured in Washington state, allegedly by a white racist man. Well, three days ago, uh, Harnish Patel was shot dead in front of his home in South Carolina. An Indian origin girl has been racially abused in a train in New York. And we all know what happened to the Indian techie Srinivas Kuchibotla in Kansas. So the question is, how safe is Trump's America for Indians? This incident um, of this magnitude that I'm aware of uh, in the city of Kent. Kent Police Chief Ken Thomas says so far, the investigation looks like a hate crime against the Sikh community. Today, investigators went door to door looking for clues. The shooting happened Friday night at 8. The police chief said the shooter approached a 39-year-old sick man while he worked on his vehicle in his 108th Avenue driveway. Confronted by a subject, some comments were made uh, to the effect of get out of our country, go back to where you're from, and our victim was then shot. The victim was shot in the arm. The police chief expects him to make it. So this morning when I woke up, it was very disheartening to see the news. Satwinder Kaur is a local religious leader. She and several other sick community members joined the press conference. It's hard to see somebody from your community being a victim of a hate crime. I mean, I, I've been here a long time, and we haven't seen something happening at this level. Police tried to calm the community's concerns this afternoon in a meeting at City Hall. And you come in, we teach you how to run and set up a block watch and communicate with us. So it was really shocking. Satwinder says her community is shaken but she hopes this message spreads instead of fear. Um, don't be scared. Just because we've been through one incident, doesn't, it shouldn't hold us back. Who have now come out and they are trying to create this fear and hate among communities and against minorities. This needs to be tackled severely, strongly, and immediately. We cannot wait. And. Um, uh, all the minority communities, especially the Sikh community, which is uh, conspicuously uh, can be recognized and be mistaken, we are very concerned as a community that we need to uh, have the leadership of this country, the political leadership, leadership to come out strongly and speak against this kind of hateful acts. The country needs uh, leadership in the terms of uh, this moment when there's a lot of attacks on the immigrants. And it, this moment is a little bit scarier than the 9-11 because not, of post 9-11, there was a lot of ignorance. And right now, people have been educated who Sikhs are and who, what Indian community has been bringing to the, uh, the American environment, the old technology sector. There's a lot of backlash which is going on against the Sikhs and the Indian community. Whereas, uh, you know, we want to probably make sure that the government is a, a strong force behind condemning these attacks which have been happening over the years. In a way that I think is really critical for South Asians to, to recognize that you know we need to work together. We can't just silo off into just Hindu or just Indian, but really recognize that there is this much broader based coalition of organizations and communities that we need to keep connecting with. And I think Saba has been really trying to be at the forefront of that and making sure that we're that we're reaching across, reaching across the aisle, connecting with our sister organizations, uh, ensuring that we have a larger voice together. Feelings are now coming to the fore that America is for white people. Why are these Asian people, Indians, etc., are coming and taking away our opportunities and jobs? Until and unless the foreign policy of India uh, becomes proactive, Prime Minister Modi makes it a very assertive stand uh, in front of the President of America then President of America must make it very clear to his people that we will not allow such a thing to happen until this happens and he takes very stern steps. I'm afraid the Indian uh, people, the people of Indian origin are going to face a very difficult time. This is the first the Trump अपने इलेक्शनिंग के दौरान में साफ तौर पे कहते कहते रहे अमेरिका फॉर अमेरिकंस और प्रेसिडेंट बनने के बाद में भी उन्होंने पहली एक्सेप्टेंस स्पीच में कहा कि अमेरिका जो है अमेरिकंस के लिए अमेरिका फर्स्ट इससे एक गलत मैसेज चला गया जिससे 
इस माफी की हेट मूवमेंट स्टार्ट हुई है दिस इज दर्ड अटैक इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट इन दास्ट फिफ्टीन डेज विच रियली इज अलार्मिंग टू ऑफ द इंडियंस ऑलरेडी बीन किल्ड देर एंड द प्रेजेंट वन हिज आउट ऑफ आई बिलीव इज आउट ऑफ डेंजर Sushma Swaraj ji our external affairs minister is in touch with the US authorities certainly government of india will take up this issue very seriously with the us administration it is very disturbing we condemn these acts and at the same time the government of india and the ministry of external affairs is seized the matter and whatever is required to be done uh, from the government of india in consultation with the us government the government of india is doing it trump ke pa iske yahan se koi chu bhi hui hai na modi ji ke paas chu hui hai jab public pressure hoga to wo choti moti jo baat kehni hogi apna keh denge apni apna public mein saak bachane ke liye nasli hinsa ka bhartiya shikar ho rahe hain aur bharat ke pradhan mantri chunav mein mashgool hain videsh mantralay se bhi koi sakht sandesh trump prashasan ko nahi ja raha मुझे लगता है कि हमारे हमारे राज ठाकरे जी को या उद्धव ठाकरे जी को ये बात जरूर आज बुरी लग रही होगी जो हमारे भारतवर्ष के नागरिक अमेरिका में मारे जा रहे हैं जो जिस तरह से हेट पैदा हो गई है विदेशियों के साथ अमेरिकन की तो कम से कम इस पर सब लोग इकट्ठा होकर अमेरिका के खिलाफ आवाज उठाई जाए और दोबारा भारतवर्ष में ऐसा काम न कहीं हो कि हमारे ये ये देख करके और अमेरिका मारा जाए तो मुझे लगता है कि एक रास्ता इन लोगों ने दिखाया अमेरिकन So the question is how safe is Trump's America for Indians